Hello my subscribers and welcome to my new tutorial. Uh, today is special tutorial for you and I will show you how to make this animation. In today's video I will show you how to use a Turbulence FD special plugin for simulate a fire and smoke and I will show you how it render with Redshift for Cinema 4D. So uh, I think this tutorial I will divide for two different lessons. First uh, lesson will be like a introduction for uh, Turbulence FD. I will show you how to use this plugin, what is the settings inside of this plugin and how to set up your uh, Redshift for this plugin. And in second part of this tutorial I will show you how to make exactly the same animation, uh, how to make animation of text, how to make simulation of this fire and finally how to make a post-production in Adobe After Effects. So if you are ready, let's start. We are in Cinema 4D, so I will start to show you what is this a plugin Turbulence FD for Cinema. So open plugins, open Turbulence FD and we will start from container. What is this? This is container where is inside coming all simulation of your fire or smoke. So little bit change size 100, 150, 100 and pick up like this. Create inside sphere. This sphere will have a burn. Like this. So we have container and we have some sphere inside. What's the settings for my container? Uh, first of all, don't forget to push a cache folder. This is very, very important. Somewhere on your hard drive, where is you have enough space, because for normal simulation, it can take from 50 gigabytes or 100 gigabytes or more. It depends from your animation. Uh, after that, uh, enable cache velocity and cache collision. Better to enable everything, like this. Then we are going to viewport and inside in viewport change channel density and channel fire shader. This we need for uh, redshift viewing. Okay, very good. And after that we are going to simulation. So in present moment stop. Then we are going to sphere and add to the sphere tag turbulence, turbulence emitter tag like this. What is inside in this uh, tag? We are start from the end channels. So if you like to make simulation of fire and smoke, all these channels should be enabled. One, 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 like this. If you like use only smoke, this last one, fuel and burn should be zero and zero. But today we will do with all simulations like this. Force not necessary touch, particles not necessary touch, then we're going to texture. What is this? In present moment uh, all my sphere will burn 100%. If I'm going to texture and apply for example some noise, inside in the noise I will use like contrast, uh, this coming like a texture and fire coming only from white color. So if you need it, you can use it. For my simulation, I no need it. So I will go to texture and make clear like this. Okay, so uh, after that, go to plugins, Turbulence FD and simulation window. This simulation window I already put down in this area. So you will have like this. If you open simulation window, you will have like this. What we have inside? First of all, you will have like choice, what you use for simulation or your processor or your video adapter. I have two video adapters. So uh, for fast calculation, of course, better if you use video adapter. But sometimes if you have very low video adapter, use processor. 
like this. Then downstairs we have choice of my uh, simulation, where is it going. If you push cache, simulation will come automatically to the cache to the cache folder. If you use interactive, simulation going only in viewport. So in present moment I will put uh, interactive and push start. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something coming, but I cannot see nothing. Why? Uh, now we are going to Turbulence FD and going to Simulation. So inside you have many, 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 many different options, but we will start from the end. So it's very simple, very easy. Burn, enable. Fuel, enable. Density, enable. Temperature, we have temperature. So we are enable everything. What is inside is here. Yes. If you not use fuel and don't use burn inside in turbulence FD container, also disable fuel and disable burn for fast calculation. But in present moment, I will use all four these calculations. Okay. Play now and check what I have. Yeah. Coming some fire some fire and maybe some smoke but in present moment i cannot see nothing i have seen only full my animation so later i will show you how to check how many fires how many smokes we have uh, next we have after temperature we have turbulence what is this this turbulence applying for smoke and for fire for example if i increase for 25 my fire will come like this looks like we have some wind or something else maybe i will use 20 just little bit okay push zero what is varsity if i apply this it's coming like like this i don't know how to call it but looks like very nice so uh better for more realistic fire i don't know what simulation you will do maybe some explosion maybe some burning on somebody but doesn't matter better use turbulence little bit more and vorticity like this and it's according to my experience coming more or less natural more or less natural okay if you need in future you can use some wind direction of wind and speed of wind we don't use it velocity timing and all other settings today we didn't touch if you like you can check play with this step by step okay stop uh, we are going to container and my folder cache is empty if i make like this i cannot see nothing so going to simulation window and change interactive to cache start and wait coming some simulation and as you can see my frames also going to the forward uh, here you can see how many disk cache already uh, take it so i have 250 frames 25 frame frame per second and simulation for my settings is more than four gigabytes here also coming some cache four gigabytes you see almost five gigabytes but now you can play like this and this simulation already inside in my memory of the computer i can make use it very fast and i can see it very fast so i hope you are understood what is this uh, additionally i will show you uh, one more very interesting thing if you will use for your i don't know any animation like this little bit here and apply for this cube turbulence fd emitter but enable this collision object like this we are again go to the interactive start and look what is going on you see looks like very nice you can move it 
and it's updated almost in real time. Of course, it depends from your video adapter. If you have very, very powerful latest model, it will be more faster. Like this. To increase simulation, what you can do to increase simulation if your computer not so powerful? Go to container and you have voxel size. You see, in present moment I have one for 100, 150. If you will increase in twice, for example, you will make two. And again, start. Your fire will be not so beautiful, but your simula oh, sorry, your simulation coming more faster. You see, if you will go into this size and increase up to three, again, stop, start. You can play with this cube almost all time, but your fire you see is not so not so beautiful, not so realistic. So we are going back to one. Stop. We are going back to one. We are going to. I think I already have some. No, I have some cash. One more time, make calculation, and we are going to render settings. Render change to redshift. This is very good question. How you can see a fire inside in redshift? So this is, will be 25. Now simulation will complete it and I will show you some tricks. First of all, please check, uh, check which version of your redshift. I have redshift 2532. If you have version before, maybe you haven't these options. If you have more latest version, also can be some change. I, I am not sure about your version, but if you will use same version like me, follow to my tutorial and you will find how to make some very interesting, very interesting simulation of fire. So we are finished with cache. We have everything inside in memory of my computer. We are going to material and create redshift material volume like this. Apply this material to container and go to IPR. Play and what you can see? You cannot see nothing. Why like this? Because we have to make some settings of this material. So going inside and what we have? We have some output. This is like standard. You can add some ID and we have volume, uh, redshift volume. Inside we have one, two and three windows. These windows we didn't touch. We no need it. We need only scatter and only emission. So inside in the scatter channel, take density. Inside in the emission channel, take burn. Again, channel density, channel burn, like this. Uh, in, uh, this is will be scatter, this is will be smoke, burn will be fire. So, uh, but you have a ramp from black to the white. As you know, fire is not black to the white, it has some red, yellow color. I will show you now how to make the ramp for fire. Counter and copy, like, yeah, one by one. So, first will be white, after that will be very light yellow, after that will be little bit dark orange like this like this after that will be red and somewhere here will be very dark red like this so this is my ramp for the fire. 
uh, maybe you like to use some other maybe some blue fire or green fire or up to you but this is looks like more or less natural according to my experience you can see something yes you already can see something maybe this will be little bit orange like this dark orange so okay uh, what we will do now it looks like not natural not so good quality we are going to settings of my redshift first of all take out this increase maybe 64 64 going to system and for fast calculation reduce bucket size don't forget to make it to maximum to final render yes to increase the time okay very good i have something but it looks like no natural why to fix this problem we have to create a light so you can use any light what you like but i will use area light because for area light coming more faster calculation so use area light yeah of course more faster will be for point light but it will be not so beautiful yes we are use area light so put this area light somewhere here and somewhere here like this again play and now I cannot see nothing. Go to area light and go to volume. If you like to see any fire with volume material, enable this contribution up to one, like this. And we already have something. We already have some smoke. We already have some fire. Looks like very nice. Go to general and start play with multiplayer. So change some like this and increase i don't know maybe 100 1500 maybe like this increase too much and you can see some fire with some smoke uh, if you like you can increase more is depend from which result you like to see okay i will keep like this i'll keep like this uh, and some few additional options some few additional options i like to show you with uh, renders so if you can see we are going to render settings output we will use a full hd we will use like this okay very nice so um, just a moment redshift increase up to maximum and make 16 and 16 for a moment like this make render and wait okay look to the quality we have some noise and it looks like not so beautiful how to fix this problem we can go again to the render settings and increase maybe maybe like this again render and wait this frame you see now time's coming more longer but our smoke also more beautiful not too much noise if we are make compare like this usually for animation this is enough because this is not a static uh, picture this is moving so if you use some noise it's not so big problem but if you use a static picture for example like like now of course you need increase as samples so we are going more and we are increase in five times like this render and we have to wait uh, look first render taking only three seconds second render taking 16 seconds and now i don't know maybe one minute maybe a little bit more after that i show you some tricks how you can increase for fire simulation for fire render uh, time uh, okay we will wait a little bit and you already can see a different here we have some noise i will increase maybe uh, maybe 150 percent look here we have some noise here already more clean and this is full disaster you see the difference you see the difference yes of course if you use more samples your picture coming more beautiful but timing for your simulation coming also oh, sorry for your rendering coming also so very long okay 
almost completed. Look to this fire, which is inside in the smoke. Looks like very, very nice. Okay. How many time? 1 minute 11 seconds. How to decrease these times with almost same quality? It's very, very simple. We are going to redshift settings. This is secret for, especially for my subscribers. And decrease, I don't know, make maybe 32, 32 or 16 like we will use before, 16 like this. It doesn't matter. And go to sampling overrides. Inside in sampling overrides, we need only volume because for my render we use only volume light it's not working because from light we take only volume and this only volume so enable this only volume and increase up to maximum like this render and wait So, uh, in present moment, Redshift make a render, my computer make a render for volume 512 samples, but for any other place, they use only 16 samples. So, I am increase like this, going somewhere here, and check, 18 seconds. And can you see any different? I cannot see any different. So we are decrease a time almost in four times, almost in four times with same quality, same quality. So, but do not use these tricks if you use any other object, if you use any other building or some explosion to somewhere because uh, your animation and your uh, quality will be not so good. But if you use only fire, only smoke, you can use these tricks and you will decrease your time too much. You see, we have same quality, but very, very big difference with times. Okay, uh, now I show you what you have to do just to receive a illumination. Create some, I don't know, some plane. Put this plane close somewhere here. Apply to this plane some redshift material like this maybe we will use it i don't know i don't know reflection maybe 0 0.3 reflection just like this and maybe more dark color like this okay uh render again and check what i have yeah sorry i just put camera a little bit down like this and like this Render and wait. Again, it will take maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit more than uh, 18 seconds because I have some additional object. But you can see, yes, uh, quality of illumination is not so good. I cannot see any illumination from my fire, but I can see illumination from my area light. So how to fix this problem if you need receive some fire illumination without any other lights uh, first of all go to the settings of area light like this go to the project and in mod make include include only turbulence fd container nothing more only turbulence fd container not necessary play, not necessary nothing. So we will have this fire, uh, sorry, this light will uh, have effect only for this turbulence FD container with this material. Render again what we have. We have wait a little bit, you see, 16 seconds is what we have. You see, for my plane, we haven't any effect of the fire, but inside in the plane we have some reflection of the fire and still we haven't any illumination you have two ways how to fix this problem or you can add, add some i don't know maybe some point light somewhere with some i don't know some orange color maybe like this and render again 
yeah just a moment for for renders for show you i will decrease this maybe maybe like this to receive more fast result yeah just to increase time so now i cannot see nothing maybe just little bit you already can see it you can make or like this you see we have some illumination yes but it looks like not natural you can you can make some area light with sphere but but if you like to use very beautiful animation you are going back to redshift settings to gi and make this primary engine to brute force render and wait yes it's taking a little bit time but just a moment where is this before yeah but already some illumination coming also we can add some somewhere here yeah first of all we take out all reflection we no need reflection just to see what is going on we will add some color maybe more light and 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 one more time wait yeah you see coming some coming some illumination if you will increase the samples quality will be more good if you take out this non nothing you haven't of course haven't this illumination you see have illumination no illumination like this so for my simulation today i didn't use some plane and additionally what i like to show you additionally with my uh with my fire yeah you see it's touching up and going to the finish we are going back to my turbulence container we are going to simulation windows we will play to the interactive start coming some fire with everything we are going to simulation inside in the temperature and density we have two very interesting options one both of them is cooling and dissipation i think this is dissipation more correct okay if we put yeah just a moment i make a stop i make again cache just to show you how it's work we will use a same frame maybe somewhere here frame number eight zero render and check what we have like this too much smoke we cannot see enough fire so i am going to density and i will increase this increase this maybe to 25 maybe like this again start and wait stop going back to this frame so i have fire and not enough smoke very small smoke if i will going here and increase maybe maybe 20 start again simulation you see it's coming more faster stop going back I have not too much fire so how is look like stop interactive play you see very small fire and start decrease a cooling and decrease this fire coming more five percent five percent fire coming up to end it depends what is the animation you use but better if your fire don't touch this simulation container it will be more natural more beautiful so i will maybe increase like this and like this you see my green container simulation container touching and in sync it, it means some smoke is touching and cut it so maybe we will increase like this and like this okay you see 
in present moment my container don't touch uh, sorry my simulation green container don't touch this white container it's mean my fire will look very very natural and without any cutting so if i make a stop if i cache to uh, make simulation to the cache we have wait a little bit okay maybe i will use only 100 frames for fast calculation okay it will be more interesting and if i render where is this end of the green container if i will render it so my my smoke not cut it and looks like very interesting okay and last one w what i like to show you we are going to container and we are going to this voxel look in present moment my cache is a uh, little bit more than three gigabytes i'm increase this voxel decrease maybe like this only 0 0.5 start and wait of course simulation coming more longer time but you will see now the different of this okay finish come on okay you see before it was 3.5 now it's 5.6 very big different with size but look to this again we will do what 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 100 and 100 look what's the different what was before what was now looks like more interesting more natural if i increase uh, sorry decrease more maybe 25 make again simulation time time taking more longer but looks for this voxel size this is like a particles yes if particles more smaller you have more beautiful animation and of course it's taking more resource more time more space so we will wait a little bit it's taking really long time you see this cache already 10 gigabytes almost 11 and it's still not completed yeah it's mean be careful with this voxel size if you put really too small of centimeters and you have not very powerful computer you're just stuck and you have to start from beginning almost finished 10 frames more and don't forget to make this green container simulation container less than your container of this animation okay yes completed this was last one previous one was 5.6 now 21 almost 22 gigabytes you see it's very 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 big different and it only for 100 frames and only from one sphere without any collision without any touching and any additional simulation so but if we are render it this is was with one centimeters of voxel size this is was 0 0.5 and look what we have now I don't know as for me this is really very natural look what was before what was now really very natural if we increase you can see very beautiful I don't know so uh, I'm going to here basic and I will increase up to maximum just to see very good result I will increase like this and render look what we have yeah of course it's taking time yes because we have more polygons more i don't know more these particles i don't know how to call it more correct for this uh, turbulence fd but look what we have look i don't know this is this is very natural we have this some fire inside
almost finish. Look, I think this is really very beautiful. Okay, looks like very nice. Okay, uh, what we can do? Finally, we are going to this red shift and we are change this will be maybe will be like this like this like this okay and render again wait a little bit and we have some very beautiful very nice effect of green fire maybe for some your I don't know for your interesting project for your animation you will use also green fire and it's look like also very interesting you can make uh, any any color of your smoke okay yeah I will stop for a moment I will also show you how to change a smoke we are going to here and we will add some I don't know maybe it will be red yeah like this so render and check <coughs> we will wait a little bit because I will use five 512 samples for my volume and look what 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 is the effect very nice looks like very nice Okay, and, 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 again, stop. One more sync. One more sync. We are going to area, to the color, and change it to the light green. Render again. And all my smoke will come in, in light green color by my area light. Yeah, you see. I don't know. Looks like very nice. Looks like very nice. Okay. We will wait a little bit. So, this tutorial completed. Uh, if you like to see next part, uh, please subscribe to my channel, put like, send me some comments in next tutorial next part of this tutorial i will show you how to create uh, text animation fire animation with fire and with all this simulation so please subscribe share to your friends and see you next time goodbye friends